So every time you guys see a portrayal of someone that is that does well with women, right? What is one of the main tropes that you see? Well, it's the guy that's kind of cool, walking with a swagger, kind of, you know, not really stressing about stuff too much. And even though this is something that you see on TV, it is true. It is something that I have seen to be true. And women do, for the most part, they do like men who are more on a cool uh, and just chilled, laid back, uh, or type of aura, type of energy. And I'm going to get into it. This is Tarek Talks. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me. So the cool, laid back type, chill type personality, it wins with women because for the simple fact that for one, right, the chick feels like she could be herself with him. The guy that's cool and just laid back, he has this very calm demeanor. He has this very open demeanor. You know, you, you guys know that uh, uncle or boss or manager or teacher or whatever, the, or coach that, you know, you you didn't feel like if you went to, to him that he would rip your head off, right? Or he would do too much. He was cool as hell. He always listened. You know, it felt like he was listening. It felt like he gave a shit. That's exactly what I'm talking about. And guys that have that type of aura or have that type of personality, they are usually that type of person, right? And it's usually they are, they do well with women because it's the same concept. Look, look guys, let me tell you something. Females, bro, if you know them, you know that they like to talk, okay? You know that they like to talk. And a guy that's kind of laid back, he's going to let them talk. Because if you let a chick, right, she's going to be talking for, you know, just 30 minutes nonstop. And 30 minutes is kind of being generous, right? It's kind of being nice, you know? So that that's number one. And if you guys know a thing or two about human psychology, you know that when a person feels heard, they connect with you more, right? It's a psychology thing. There's a book called How to Make Friends, and that's something on there that, uh, you know, that if you are a good listener, you're going to make friends if you're a good listener because people like to talk about themselves, you know, people like to talk about themselves. And if you're a good listener, I'm like, oh, man, that dude is cool as hell. Right. Second is that you give off like you give off a sexual aura and this happens naturally. This happens without you even trying because a guy that's kind of laid back, he just gives that he's cool. You know, he's laid back like, oh, this this is a, a cool type of cat. <laughs> you know, this is a, a, a laid back type of guy. And she's going to think that as well. She's going to be like, oh, okay, you know, this dude, he's probably down for the get down, right? He's probably down for the get down. And by just you being smooth, you project that type of personality. Just like when a chick, let, let me put it to you guys like this. Just like when you're talking to a young lady, right? You're talking to her. And hell, even on her end, she's listening to you. She's laughing. She's cool, calm. You're going like, yeah, you know, she's it, it's a turn on because you're going to get that feeling that she's receptive. You know, she's receptive. She's cool. She's not going to judge you too much. And that's exactly what it is with young ladies. Now, the whole thing with uh, not judging, I'm going to throw this in there. I'm going to throw this in there and some of you guys might agree. Some of you guys might not. It's all good because as my channel is growing, I'm getting, you know, there's guys that disagree with what I'm saying and there's no problem with that. Some of them are just straight up a-holes that get blocked and deleted, right? I'm just going to say that, but some people disagree and I can dig that. It's a free country, right? But with me, when it comes to that whole judging thing, 
here's one thing about it, fellas. Do not compromise your morals just to get some play, okay? I'm throwing this in there. So if she tells you that she's into something or that she has a particular in weird ass interest, if she's like, yeah, I smoke meth, I'll be like, oh, huh, yeah, that's cool. You know, I'm, I'm cool and laid back, man. You know, I'm just a cool, <laughs> I'm just a cool guy and I, I could dig that. Hell, let me hit the rock one time too. That that's not what I'm telling you guys. That's not when I tell you not not to judge. I'm not gonna tell you if she told you that one time she had five guys at one time. And when I say five guys, I'm not talking about the restaurant. I'm not talking about where you go eat a burger at. Okay. If she tells you she had a, a five man formation on, ran on her. And you're like, wow, uh, that's not for me. You know what I'm saying? Then that's, hey, look, that's your prerogative. And you don't have to be this whole, I don't judge and every. I'm telling you guys to take this with a grain of salt. Okay. I'm taking you guys to, I'm telling you guys to have to go about this in a sensible type of way, in a balanced type of way. Okay. So if she's a relatively cool person and she doesn't have to be, virgin, you know, she don't got to be uh, a freaking nun, right? She don't got to be a freaking nun. She doesn't have to be perfect. You feel me? So when I'm saying, uh, if she's doing something that you ain't feeling, you know, be balanced with it. Not everybody is a damn nun. I'm pretty sure you've did, did some stuff in your lifetime as well. Okay. But for the most part, you guys are gelling. You guys are having a good combo. Bam. She's going to feel like she's safe. She's going to feel like she isn't being judged. And when she feels that way, if she's attracted to you, right, that is the recipe for, you know, getting into for intimacy. Because I know a lot of you guys, that's what you want, right? A lot of you guys, let's just be for real. You guys want intimacy. Nothing wrong with that. Even for my guys that are religious, I get my freaking religious Bible and Quran thumpers on, on my channel. Okay. And, and if you guys hear my other videos, I tell you, this isn't only for hookups, right? A woman being attracted to you has nothing to do with religion. So whether you want to get married, whether you want to, uh, a fling, whatever the deal is, you want to get intimate at some point, you know, so by you being cool and calm and collected, that is the recipe for intimacy. She is going to want to be with you because it's not only physical, right? It's not only physical. Yes, your physical is going to play a huge role. Don't get it twisted. But it's that personality type too. So you got the physical down. Now you got that cool personality. And you have that personality that portrays this, you know, hey, look, I'm I'm down. If you do, if you down with the get down, then I'm down with it too. We can go ahead and do this thing, and that's a lot of the uh, the times, a lot of the reasons that these so-called players they get with these chicks and they get intimate relatively quick is because they have that type of personality. They have that type of free flowing personality. Like, hey, if you're down, I'm into you. You're into me. Let's go and take it there right? They're not afraid to kind of push that limit if they know that the chick is into them. You know, you have to make sure that this chick is into you too. Don't tell it to a chick that's actively blocking you, okay? If she's telling you, no, please go away, I'm going to mace you, right? The, you can be as smooth and as player as you want to move on, bro. You know, it's, it's not going to work. So you have to have that that temperature. You have to have that gauge, and that's that's how a lot of guys uh, that are players or get intimate with women, you know, relatively quickly. That's their secret, which is really which is really no secret, is that they're cool, and when they sense, uh, you know, they get the the woman comfortable, they sense that hey, look, she's getting into that type of freaky mode, right? Because when you chilling with her, she's laughing, she's having a good time, right? You're you're just making her laugh, you're making her feel funny. And I've talked about this before, about the whole Jester Max. 
I'm not telling you guys to be, uh, there's a difference between jester maxing and being funny and just being cool and just being funny. Two different, two different aspects, right? And the thing a lot of you guys need to realize is that yes, making a woman feel good, making her, uh, you know, making her laugh a couple of times that does invoke sexual attraction. And a lot of guys don't believe it. And they're like, Oh, she's not supposed to be laughing and stuff like that. There's two things about that. First of all, they're really not that experienced. Okay. Cause if they were, they knew that when women feel comfortable, when they're talking to you, when they're just having a good time, that is when they're going to that attracted to you, right? And second, let me put it to you guys like this, right? Let's just say you're talking to somebody, anybody, a, a, a guy, a girl, whatever. Let's say you're talking to a clerk working in a store. You have A, right? Clerk A, let's call them uh, freaking... Narrow the the destroyer, okay? The fucking the that old Roman emperor that was just freaking doing all that BS, right? Let's call it cash uh clerk A Nero, and you talking to him <laughs> and he looking at he's mean mugging the hell out of you. Like, why the hell are you talking to me? I'm not trying to talk to you. You know, milk is on aisle eleven, F off. Right, he's like milk on aisle eleven, bro. Just, just get on. And I know you guys have encountered a lot of these type of people that when you try to ask them for for help or something like that, they're gonna give you the death stare. They're they're gonna make you wish that you never asked for the milk. They're gonna make you wish you never stepped foot in that store. Now take uh, Clerk B, Johnny, Johnny Cage, right? You ask him where the milk is. He's like, "Oh yeah, sure, yeah, right here. I'll I'll show you. Okay, right here. Make that right. Uh, aisle eleven. You know, it's right there. They got the almond milk too, and all, and all that. And you're like, "Oh, appreciate it. I thank you. Thank you so much." And he's like, "No problem." And he goes, and you're like, "That was he was cool. He he had a you know a pleasant energy about him. He has a pleasant disposition." He was very pleasant. So which cashier would you rather have asked help for? Or would you have rather approached? Clear cut. You know, it's clear. You clerk clerk B. Much rather. Cause ain't nobody trying to talk to somebody that's uptight, angry, pissed off, over emotional. So that's the whole concept behind that. Hope this video helped. Peace.